and welcome to Let's Fly VFR. Today we're heading out in the 15C Eagle and we're going to do a little bit of air to air combat in a DCS. So here we are parked up high in the uh, F-15C and today we're going to take on and we've got him locked up there directly ahead of us, the Su-27. So we're going to give this a uh, good go. Now we're going to give this one a missile 1v1 to start with and then we'll give it uh, another try and have a look at how we go with the guns and see whether we can survive that. If you're very new to DCS or you haven't or you're considering getting into DCS, aircraft like the F-15C are a really good place to start because their flight models are good as we launch on that Su-27. We'll send him one and a second that should keep him occupied. And uh, simplified in the cockpits, not clickable cockpits, but the uh, flight models are really good and they're just a lot of fun to play. So. We set out a couple of missiles there. Now the idea is here is we lead off to either right or left because if he launches back on me, the missiles lead you. So they, they're going to be hoping to meet you out in front somewhere. So if we go this way for a while, anything that has been launched, and you can see the circle there and the radar warning receiver telling us that he has launched a missile on us, it will be flying to meet us out ahead. Get it out there, give it plenty of time to start all that lead on us. And then as we can come back, we can always sneak up another one just to keep him busy. And then hoof off to the left ourselves, giving that missile even more distance. And also if it's coming down into the lower altitudes, uh, thicker air for it to push through, which reduces its range. So there's a few tactics involved in doing this. Uh, there's some really good uh, other channels out there, guys. Uh, Growling, Sidewinder and uh, Hellrain 8, the couple of really great uh, channels you might also uh, visit if you're looking to get into DCS. So we've got him locked up and we're pressing home. We've got another missile out there for him and it looks like we've had a win. That's not bad. Now you notice I haven't got the uh, face track, no way. I had a little issue with that. I'm, I'm not sure if it's its problem or it was something I did but it, uh, it messed up my whole DCS. So I've downloaded it and uh, put it onto my Ingo 2 drive. So we are one up on the Su-27. So let's head over and see here we go in the guns regime. And I'm gonna be doing a few of these. I'm certainly gonna be doing a lot of practice because I wanna spend a time, uh, spend time out there online something i haven't done very much of i've had a couple of quick visits online so this is the same place uh, the same map that comes out default with uh, dcs and here this is just a 1v1 again uh, which i've already uh, got the su-27 chasing me around the sky you can see it just heating up out of screen there um, it is very difficult Apology. with the video Apology. that uh, when you're looking at a small screen or once YouTube has compressed it a bit more, sometimes it's a bit hard to see the uh, the targets uh, if they're not really close to us. So Apology. we'll see how this works Apology. out once it's uploaded. So again, turning tight. And I'm using my mouse looking after my views. So I've got my views set up with both the, the top hat and with the mouse as well. And uh, trying to get used to this because I'm sure a lot of you guys out there don't have track IR as well. So we'll see how this all works out. There he is. He's just climbing. Now a lot of these twin engine aircraft like to climb all the time and then sweep down on top of you. So if you've got an F-15, this is also a uh, quite a good tactic on a lot of occasions. Being that he's already up and heading down but not pointing at me, I'm just trying to work it so that he flies past me then sneak around behind him. But these Su-27s are very agile. We've got the M61A1 cannon. I've uh, fitted a couple of these over the years into uh, F-111s and uh, F-18s. Back in the dark days when I was uh, in the Air Force. So here we go. We've got him trailing now. You might lose him down in the dark background. But we've got him ahead of us there and we're chasing him around. Lost a little bit of speed. There he is, just highlighted against the sky. 
Now we're going to try and get that dragging circle, that lagging circle there, over the top of where he is. So we lost lock there for a moment. We're heading up against him as he's coming back down and around. He's getting closer. Probably a little bit over the top with my shooting here because I'm using it like a hose, which is not really the right way to go about it. We should be getting a little bit closer. That was a good shot, but I might have just missed out. If you get any hits, you'll see those appear on the left-hand side of the screen. You get a hit, or hopefully a, a destroy, just what I'd want to see. Just hitting a little short burst there. It's coming around, but haven't been very successful. There we go. Got him. We've got damage, but we haven't got destroyed. There's certainly plenty of smoke pouring out of the back of that aircraft. But the AI aircraft here do not give up. This is something I learned out of uh, this particular flight. And uh, also manage your ammunition a little bit better because yeah, very soon... See, shooting at that distance is... Well, it turns out to be a pretty dumb thing to do. Because we're going to run out of ammo in a minute and then then what are we going to do? We don't get out. Because you've normally got about... I think it's about 10 seconds worth of ammo. It might be a little bit more, but it's roughly that. Because this gun fires 20 millimeter ammunition at about four to 6,000 rounds per minute. And I am out. And he is not destroyed yet, so he's still flying. During this, I thought, surely with all the amount of smoke that's coming up out of him that I would be pretty safe. So I just sort of keep track of him being that I have no missiles because this is a, a guns only scenario I just kept turning maybe I should have just booted it up and uh, and exited the arena that would have been smart but he's still dead set gonna have a piece of me as he follows around behind me he's pretty hard on the six there rolled inverted and trying to just change direction but again lost a lot of speed and be very careful with your speed and your power. If you run the F-15 flat out, you will run out of fuel in hardly any time. It's a big aeroplane. I've climbed over them a few times, sat in cockpits. It's a big aeroplane. Bingo fuel. But those two big engines at the back there love bingo to drink fuel. the fuel for you as well. So bingo, I'm uh, pretty low down on that, and it's just got me a mongrel. <laughs> Left engine fire. So after Hydraulic all of that, failure. we hit the deck. That wasn't good. Yes, because I was dumb. But he hit the ground as well. So if I had to hang on a bit second, a little bit longer. So F-15-2, uh, Su-27-1. Hope you enjoyed that. Catch you in the next video. See you soon. Bye-bye.